Welcome back. People in Milledgeville will have a unique way to experience the city's black history this month. Avery Braxton joins us now from the newsroom to explain how you can get a free glimpse into the past. That's right, Frank and Lori. Two times this month, you can hop on a trolley and get a train car view of Milledgeville's black history. Step onto the trolley in Milledgeville this month and step back in time. We're talking about Milledgeville's history from 1803 all the way to present day. Twice this month, the Milledgeville Baldwin County Convention and Visitors Bureau will offer trolley rides focused on the city's African American heritage for free. Normally when we offer the tour, it's to groups of 10 or more and it's $250 for the tour. So you see with it being free, it's a pretty significant saving. The trolley will take you to five different spots, including Flag Chapel, the first African-American church in Milledgeville, which is still in operation today. The church was started by former slave Wilkes Flag in 1830 and had its chapel built in 1864. A two hour ride through the city will take you to see the Sally Ellis Davis House, home to Baldwin County's first African-American principal who dedicated her career to teaching black children. Hop over to Allen's Market and the Strip you'll see an area that held thriving black owned businesses during the 20th century. And visit Memory Hill Cemetery, which is believed to hold more than 500 unmarked graves of slaves and several black historic figures. CVB Executive Director Rebecca Snyder said the history can be emotional. You know, sometimes just being really honest, the history can be really raw. Um, sometimes it can be really inspirational. So it's really real to who Milledgeville is all the time. But taking a ride through the city's history is completely worth it and necessary. So by talking about this history and really just growing this market, we feel like we're able to tell the story of all of our people here in the county. Those tours will be given on February 10th and 24th from 2 to 4 p.m. They are first come, first serve. Frank Glory, back to you. Thanks a lot, Avery. Snyder says if you don't get a spot on the tour on February 10th, you can still participate in Super Museum Sunday. Yeah, on that day, visitors can go to four other historic sites in Milledgeville for free.